The most better there was, the most better there is, and the most better there ever will be. Brett, the better man heart, has said Vince McMahon can rot in hell. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling and talk about a guy that needs to let things go. Talk about a guy that needs to move on, leave things in the past, and just... Get on with his life. That is none other than Bret Hart. But the guy hasn't done that, has he? The screw job was a long, long time ago. But for this guy, it may as well have been yesterday. Just like Owen Hart may as well have been yesterday. Just like Goldberg kicking him in the head may as well have been yesterday. I mean, Bret Hart, has he had a few bad things go against him in wrestling? Absolutely. But I've never seen someone complain. I've never seen someone hold a grudge and just be so bitter about everything like Bret Hart is. So, during a recent interview with Attitude Era podcast, WWE Hall of Famer Bret Hart was reflecting on the Montreal screw job from Survivor Series 1997. And that's what Bret Hart had to say. He says, quote, The Montreal screw job and all the lies and things they did to me, I have so much respect for what I did. If you were in my shoes after everything that I did for them, for them to do what they did to me, I always hear this crap like I heard Undertaker say, they had to do what they were going to do. There was no other option. Bullshit. I had another six weeks left on my contract. There were a million things that could have been done. It was a case of liars, cheaters, backstabbers, and guys that made that moment happen. Sean, Triple H, Vince McMahon. I wish I knocked them all out. I have no regrets. It was the single greatest thing I ever did. All I'll say is this. Jimmy Snooker came up to me about three years after the Montreal screw job. He came up to me and shook my hand, and he goes... I want to shake the hand of the man that knocked out Vince McMahon. Everybody talked about doing it. He lied and screwed over so many guys. Everybody talked about doing it, but the one guy who did it was you. That's why he shook my hand. I think it says more about my real personality. I was never a hothead or a guy that acted out or went off and punched everybody that I wanted to. If you were in my shoes that day, Vince was calling my bluff. He was going to confront me and wanted me to back down and take the high road. It was a gamble that he made and he thought he was going to try and get into a little altercation with me. He wanted it to be a pull apart. Everybody pulls it apart and he can act like he stood his ground against me. In those fleeting seconds of having to think about this, I can't believe Vince McMahon is actually going to confront me. I didn't charge him. We actually walked up to each other, locked up like a wrestling match. Then I knocked him out with one punch. It was the greatest punch I ever threw. Absolutely beautiful uppercut. I lifted him about a foot off the ground, broke my hand. It was the sweetest punch I ever threw. I wouldn't change anything about it. Vince McMahon can rot in hell. End of quote. So, I mean, lots of things to take from that. I mean, the the first thing is, I mean, he, he says Undertaker is full of crap. He says bullshit, that there was nothing else that they could do. First of all, would Brett say that to Undertaker's face? I doubt it. Second of all, it doesn't matter what options there were. Bret Hart was a guy getting paid by WWF. He was under WWF contract. If McMahon wanted Brett to drop the belt, he should have dropped the belt. McMahon doesn't have to come up with another six different reasons for what they could do. It doesn't matter. He says there's a million things they could have done. It doesn't matter if there's a million things. The only thing that matters is what McMahon wants to do. And if McMahon wants to do one thing, then the other 999,000 are irrelevant at the end of the day. Brett was under WWF contract. He was getting paid by WWF. He should have done the right thing. He should have done what McMahon wanted him to do. But of course he wouldn't do that. Because he didn't want to lose in front of his home crowd. But he was the one that decided to go to WCW. He was the one that was deciding to leave. So, I mean, you can't have your cake and eat it. You know, you, you can't leave and, and go to a different company and bail out on McMahon, bail out in the WWF, and then still dictate what matches you win and what matches you lose. I mean, that's bullshit. If, if Bret Hart was staying and he was like, I'm, I'm refusing to job in my hometown, then that's one thing. But with Bret Hart leaving, Bret Hart going out the door, I mean, he, he should have been willing to do whatever McMahon wanted him to do. And that obviously was lose the belt to Sean 
Michaels. And then he speaks about how when he punched McMahon, he, he says that he broke his hand and that McMahon lifted about a foot off the ground. I mean, I'm going to have to disagree with that. I highly doubt McMahon lifted a foot off. If McMahon lifted a foot off the ground with the weight of McMahon, I mean, Bret Hart would have had to have punched him with some, like, superhuman force that it would have done serious damage to McMahon. So, again, I mean, I don't think that's right. I don't recall Bret Hart ever breaking his hand either over this. Seems like Bret's just trying to make the punch seem a lot better than it actually was. I mean, who he could be telling the truth, but I doubt it. I doubt McMahon uh, flew off the ground by a foot. You know, I just, I just don't see that happening. So... I mean, it is what it is. But then he says McMahon can rot in hell. I mean, what is it with this guy? Didn't McMahon bring him back? He's came back already. He was at WrestleMania 26. He had that match with McMahon. He had a big payday. He came back. He had like a year run on the roster. He was on a Survivor Series match. He was part of the Nexus feud. I mean, this guy still came back and, and he got a lot of money and he got put in the Hall of Fame and he got the WrestleMania payday. I thought he shook hands with Michaels. You would think that ever since 2010 that he would move on and forget about this, but ever since he like left WWE and not long after that, he's just shown his true colours. This guy hasn't put anything in the past. He's still bitter. He will always be bitter because he's Brett the Bitter Man Heart. You know, it's, it's, it's a joke. It's embarrassing. Does WWE, does Triple H need to offer this guy another payday? Do they need to bring him back for WrestleMania 41 just to get him to shut up for a couple of years about the screw job and about everything else, man? No doubt he's ready to talk about Goldberg tomorrow, the kick, the end of his career. I mean, Bret Hart, he was a good wrestler. I'm not going to sit and say that he sucked. He was a good wrestler, good entertainer, whatever. He was good for his error, but I've always thought he was overrated, and you know what, for personality-wise and the way he acts and the way he gets on, I, I could never, ever consider myself a Bret Hart fan. Yeah, look, Shawn Michaels may have been a dick back in the day, but he didn't come across as a whiny little bitch like Bret Hart. I mean, Bret Hart must be one of the most whiniest guys. I mean, he reminds me of fucking like a... a I mean, he is like Batista and Ryback in a sense, you know, where these guys are just so fucking bitter. Yeah, but for me, Bret Hart can't stand the guy. And it's crazy that he still wants McMahon to rot in hell. And originally I thought it was going to be over the Janelle Grant stuff, but it turns out it's because of the screw job and he still thinks McMahon should rot in hell. I mean, whatever, Bret. It happened almost 30 years ago. Fucking grow up. You made a career out of wrestling. You got paid well to wrestle. You, you got brought back. You supposedly put all this shit behind you. He's had a handshake. I mean, why can't he just be the bigger man? Or even equally as big as whatever. Michaels, Triple H, Vince, and just move on. You know? Crazy. Anyway, Bret Hart. I'm sure he'll be bashing somebody again next week. Goldberg. It's been a while since he talked about him. Probably going to talk about how Goldberg's the worst wrestler of all time. The most unsafe wrestler of all time. I mean, Brett talks about all these things they could have done. First of all, with the Goldberg situation, Brett didn't need to wrestle concussed. Okay, he continued to wrestle and I'm sure that, you know, that affected him long term. He talks about the screw job. Had he just lost to Shawn Michaels, the screw job wouldn't have happened. And if anything, you know what, the screw job probably actually benefited the wrestling business but it definitely benefited McMahon and I don't see how it did any harm to Bret Hart because he should have been into WCW coming off the back of the screw job with a lot of momentum a lot more momentum than he would have got if he just you know had a normal match where he lost to somebody so for me the screw job should have been turned into a positive and all Bret Hart's done is absolutely bitch about it for years and years and decades and decades so as what it is guys let us know what you think down below but yeah Bret Hart wants Vince McMahon to rot in hell still. 20, what, 27 years later? Embarrassing. Anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.